Hola. This video is about a preposition. See, a preposition in English that has two prepositions to describe the same one in Spanish. I'm talking about for. Well, in Spanish, we have two prepositions that correspond to for, por o para. That can drive students nuts. But if you follow the guidelines, you should be able to tell apart when to use por, when to use para. In English, the preposition for can indicate cause. For example, thanks for your help or destination. The book is for you. Spanish uses two prepositions to express these ideas, por and para. Here's how. The preposition por can mean for, through, in, because, and by. I'm going to repeat that. That's very important for you to understand. The preposition por can mean for, through, in, because, and by. So, use por when referring to the cause of or reason for an action. Por eso, ella escribió el artículo. So, for that reason, she wrote the article. In this case, I use por. Gracias por el regalo. Thanks for the gift. So, here is because of or the reason for. We also use por when we refer to means of communication. Te llamo por teléfono o te llamo um, por celular. O hablo contigo por correo electrónico, etc. So every time when you're talking about means, you're going to use por. Periods of time. Mari fue a Samaná por un mes. So, this is the duration of time. So, you always use por. Vengo por la tarde. Movement through a place. Los turistas pasan por la aduana. Fui a México por Texas. So, it's through. Okay? How about para? When do we use para? The preposition para can mean for, in order to, to, and by. Let's say it one more time. The preposition para can mean for, in order to, to, and by. Use para when referring to goals to reach or purposes to fulfill. Practicamos para ganar el partido. In this case, you can even in your mind, you can substitute that para for in order to. If it fits, it's para. Movement towards a place. Salíamos para la escuela a las siete. You also use para to the recipient of an action or object. Estas fotos son para Laura. So you're going to give her something, give somebody something. The person that will receive you use para, for, in this case, is para. We use para when you express an opinion, when you say para mí es una cuestión de tiempo. This one is very easy. Also, when you have deadlines to meet, escribe el artículo para el viernes. Okay? So, write the article by Friday. Para el viernes, because it's a deadline. Also for employment, Sara trabaja para el periódico. Sara works for the newspaper. Another example, yo trabajo para Western Dubuque. Okay? Well, I hope that was helpful. Make sure you finish your video guide and bring it to class. Gracias.